Hey, what's up, guys? Come and sit down and shut the door. Pull the blinds off and pull the blinds down and turn the lights off, y'all. I got some tea. Do you know that King Combs and Diddy were involved in a shooting in a recording studio? And baby, this ain't no allegedly. Are y'all ready for this? You know I went digging. Now, let me just give you guys a little precursor and then I'll get to the point. Now, before you guys are like, Tisa, how did you figure this out? Girl, your investigative skills. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. However, I do want to point something out, okay? Um, first of all, I do want to point something out, okay? Because first of all, I, I dug up and found this flight item. And believe it or not, it gave me the clues to where the bodies were buried. So let me read this blind item real quick. And then we're going to get to the real mess, okay? Here we go. Oh, wait, hold on. We need the music. Maestro, hit that. Chew it. Okay. The scenario is the producer. Um, okay. There's a lot of investigation on. And the producer, take that, took that, is very nervous. A lot of people think it's from misdeeds that happened over 10 years ago. At least, that's what he hopes and prays everybody keeps believing. The fact is, these misdeeds happened a lot sooner and closer than anybody thought. As a matter of fact, something actually happened in the fall of 2022. Picture this, a recording studio. The sun, many people think is the sun that many people think was rumored to take a DUI charge for him. Well, at least if you believe the mom's son. They're in the studio. The son's friend is there too. An argument happens in the bathroom. Something so weird and so benign. The friend thinks he can just talk his trash and walk away. Little did he know he was in the pre presence of someone that was never going to let somebody talk to his son like that. Three people enter into a restroom. One person leaves the studio with a gunshot wound to the abdominal. Now here's the weird thing, right? Because outside of the craziness that just happened, the weird thing is everybody's so hush-hush. If you look through the news, there's, a, there's little evidence of what's happening. A little, but not much. Names are scrubbed, which is weird from such high-profile individuals. Where was TMZ? Where was Action News? Where were the blogs? Everybody was silent. But the people that knew, baby, they knew. Listen, if you want to know more, all I have to say is, some people drink from the golden chalice, for there you will find the truth. All right, I've told you guys enough. Happy hunting. Now listen, you know me when I heard that. I said, baby, I'll, ch I'll accept the challenge. So I started digging, digging, digging. But that last line, the golden chalice, really stuck in my head. And y'all, guess what I found? Oh, let's go. You're not going to believe this. Y'all remember when I told y'all that Diddy was being investigated by New York City, New York State, and also the feds. But here's the thing that people don't realize. When you're investigated by the feds, right? When you're investigated by the feds, when you're being investigated by the feds or the special operations units, usually in those cases, when the feds can come in is when, right? It's interstate, meaning that something happened in, across state lines and they're connecting the dots to things that happen across state lines. What happened across state lines? Well, I got a clue for you. Does anybody know where California love was made and what California love was about? Okay, listen, yes, I am trying to be dramatic, but I am going someplace with this. Y'all, this happened in California. And this goes to show what Diddy's influence was, what he was into, and how this barely was talked about, showed up as a bleep. Their names were scrubbed on it, but it 100% happened. Are y'all ready for these receipts? Let's let the church say amen. And baby, this ain't no allegedly. This ain't no allegedly. Okay? Let me get to the bottom of this. Okay, this is, uh, this happened on or about September 
in the year 2022, okay? Now, around that time, Diddy was working on the Love Album. Diddy was working on the Love Album. Diddy was in LA in a studio working on the Love Album. Diddy was in the Chalice Studios, located at 845 North Highlander Avenue in Los Angeles, California. This is the Chalice Studios. This is where it occurred in September 2024. A young man was shot while leaving the studio in Los Angeles. It happened in a studio bathroom. It happened in that studio bathroom, okay? Justin Combs and Sean Combs and Justin's friend we're all in the studio bathroom together. Now, listen, I don't know how big the studio bathroom is. I, don't, I said the same thing y'all probably asking. What was all three of them doing in the bathroom? I don't know. I don't know. Let's, we need to get a video surveillance to see if anybody was wearing white fingernails. I don't know what they were doing in the bathroom. It's a studio bathroom. I don't know if this is one of those hotel bathrooms that are as luxurious as a suite with a sitting area and all this stuff, or is something like a small rinky dink clubs bathroom when you got to like move to the side and press up against the sink so somebody can walk around you and get and, and open the door to get out. Do you know what I'm saying? So I don't know how big or small the bathroom was. I've never been in, um, I've never Ever put in a studio time work so you know but if anybody has been in the shallow studios please let me know actually hold on let me see i'm gonna google the uh here i'm gonna google the shallow studios bathrooms shallow studio bathrooms we're gonna get to the bottom of this let me know if you want me to go live tomorrow i'm also gonna do a little special members only live i know y'all been i've been neglecting y'all shallow studios bathrooms in los angeles let me see if we can find a visual on how big these bathrooms are because again what were they doing okay shallow studio recording studios i see yeah this is definitely where the love album was recorded this is definitely where the Love Album was recorded. If you go to uh, Google Maps, uh, they have all of the pictures and it definitely looks like uh, the Love Album. Now, hold on, y'all. Let's get into the studios. Okay, so they don't really have any pictures of the bathrooms. The Love Album was 100% recorded here, but there's no pictures of the bathrooms. Okay, let me get back to my point. Okay, I can go live to talk about this later. Okay. So it was Justin, Sean, and Justin's friend. Uh, Justin's friend. Okay. There was evidence. Okay. Hold on really quick. Hold on. Okay, let's get into it. So it's just, let me start over. Okay. Justin's friend was shot. He was in the bathroom with Sean and Justin. There is video evidence of this shooting and video evidence that if the feds is fedding, like they usually fed, fed do, the feds may have word of this. Again, when everybody talks about the feds investigating Diddy because of black mafia family, seed money and all this crazy stuff he did, baby, no one said no one no one at all said anything about the things that he's currently up to which is why diddy should have just hurried up and settled with cassie and not cassie but the other people and why i think he actually settled with cassie because at the end of the day cassie knew all the stuff he was doing when they was together you think that mofo stopped because the people around him still were in fight white fingernails i'm just saying okay so One second. Okay, so here we go. Now, there were, right? They were the only ones in the bathroom. So Justin, his dad, and Justin's friend are on the bathroom. There's a scuffle. Everybody hears it. All this stuff is going on. There's video evidence on them, okay? One person, Justin friend, gets shot, right? He just got shot in the bathroom. People heard the bang, bang. He gets shot, we believe, somewhere in the stomach, whatever. The person ended up losing a leg. 
losing a leg, okay? Nothing, barely anything was in the news. I'm gonna show you the news clip. Barely anything was in the news, okay? This happened, right? It is what it is. Diddy was hosting a producer's camp, right? At Shala Studios. It is a Hollywood recording studio. It's where the Love album was shot, right? So you might be asking me, well, Tisa, where's the mess from the um where's the mess from the uh from the uh proof that any of this happened? Are you just making this up out of thin air? To which I say, baby, I might tell you a joke, but I will never tell you a lie. This is directly from CBS News. It is low, it is dated September 12, 2022. At least one person was shot at a party at a Hollywood recording studio, police said Monday. Officers were called to the 800 block of North Highland Avenue at Willby to check into reports of a shooting at about 3 a.m., according to the LAPD. At the location, they found a man had been shot after stepping outside the studio. The man in his 30s was taken to a hospital in stable condition. He was reportedly shot in the abdominal. Sky 2 was over the scene early Monday. That's their chopper that's always having their light shining everywhere. Was over the scene early Monday, spotted several people sitting outside the location being questioned by police. No information was released about the suspect, and it is not known if the shooting was gang related. Isn't it funny that they left out the fact that it was Sean Diddy Combs recording the Love album? You don't think it's odd that Diddy and his son Justin, because when they got into the DUI in, in, uh, in July, when Mrs. Hilton Brim was like, you ain't going to take my son down to hell, right? TMZ was all over it. They had the deets. Now this stuff happens. And somehow the LAPD and somehow the LAPD and everything else doesn't want to say anything about that. Y'all. What y'all think? Again, if I was Diddy, I'd be worried. Not because he's probably about to go broke and because there's like criminal investigation. It's because whoever are these rich and powerful people that were 100% protecting you, how long do you think they're going to let you keep walking around? Especially if, if the, what the streets are saying is true, that you're basically threatening to spill evidence on uh, people if everybody doesn't start rallying around you and supporting. You guys, listen, this house of cards is crumbling. Let me know if you want me to go live tomorrow to spill the dirt on this. But baby, 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 when I said I was going to bring y'all some tea, this is piping hot and baby ain't no allegedly. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.